to Corner Casuals Podcast in partnership with Combat Kings. Um, we're here with Carl Eze. Um, second fight, looking forward to it. I know he was talking off camera. First one, 30 seconds, 23 second knockout. Um, yeah. How- yeah. yeah, it was a 23 second knockout. Um, obviously, it was my first fight, so went into it really prepared, um, expecting a battle, but unfortunately, it's not what I got. So I'm here again um, to actually have the first test, and yeah. It will be my second fight, but to me, it will be my first fight. Is that frustrating for you? Because I know a lot of people win in a manner where they win early doors, but for you as a boxer, obviously, where you're training, would you prefer to win, but ideally for you, get the rounds and win? Yeah, because for me, it's not really about winning. Like Obviously, at the end of the day, it's nice to win and all of that, but for me, I, I go into boxing to, to improve my, my, myself personally, my health and everything, and then I realise I actually enjoy the sport. Um, so it's now a case of wanting to challenge myself and test myself. Um, so yes, I got the victory, but I didn't feel like I did, like I did much to, 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 to earn it. So I want to be able to, to get in the ring, earn that victory, and then when they raise my hand up, I feel like I deserve this, as How, opposed to someone yeah. just being scared. What, uh, is there anything that you're missing that you do outside of camp normally that you can't do whilst you're training? A lot of people say food and stuff. Is there anything that you're missing in particular that you can't wait to chop up after the fight? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll say food. Like um, a, a lot of the, the food you shouldn't be having, junk food. Um, I mean, this is a good thing. I'm I, I, I'm a smoker, um, but as I go into boxing, I've I've, I've not quit completely. But like that hold is had on me. It's not as strong, so I'm slowly getting off it. Um, so that's a, that's a positive. Um, so I'm not saying after the fight I'm going to be back on the no. Um, but in terms of food, really, that's the main thing. The junk food, Nando's, you know, the usual. Aye. Nando's, don't write that off, man. That is a top meal. You can make it healthy as well, people. Just don't get the chips. Um, in terms of uh, you fighting on the 23rd, uh, it's a sold-out athletic stadium at Crystal Palace. Um, how, what are your thoughts, obviously? Does that phase you fighting in front of a big crowd? Does it motivate you? Does it push you? Um, I don't think it phases me, but then again, I haven't been in, in that kind of situation before. But the kind of person I am, I think it, it, it would motivate me. Obviously, having my friends and my family around, that's all I'll care about. Um, it, literally, once I get in that ring, I'm not going to be able to see or hear any, any of anyone and just focus on the guy in the, who's in front of me. So I don't think it would deter me. It would, it would, it would be more motivating more than do you anything. Know, do you know what? It's funny. We was in the ring doing some content earlier on because I filmed him. We filmed him in it. And um, yeah, you are throwing some heavy hands, man. Um, obviously, you did say earlier on that you dropped down so sort of heavy to uh, light heavy, is it? Yeah, yeah. So like, how is that? How has that been for you? Because I'd imagine fighting at heavyweight as well. When you are preparing for those training uh, camps, I suppose the diets are a lot less strict at heavyweight because you're not forced to lose as much weight. Whereas here, you have had to lose a little bit. Have you really found that tricky at all? Not really. So I would say the decision to move down to light heavyweight was because of how easy I found it, losing weight. Um, I would say I was a bit overweight at 95 kg um, and that was my walking weight so just obviously getting into camp and in the routine um, running every day um, I was I was able to drop down drop down 5 kg within the space of a month um, so I was like I might as well just stay in this weight and then continue to find this weight so it wasn't necessarily a problem um, but yeah it wasn't something I was expecting but happy with it um, obviously the fight outcome for you um, how do you want the fight to go? Is it just control? We said earlier on that you didn't get the rounds last time. It was a quick knockout. But ultimately, you are in there to win. Yeah. So, you know, however that comes, I suppose, for you, be it quick or not, how would, ideally, in your head, do you want the fight to go? Um, obviously, I want to get the win. Um, I, If it goes the distance, fair enough. I wouldn't like to win. I mean, obviously, a knockout. Everyone likes to see a knockout. But I'm not, I'm not fussed about a knockout. Like I would still win on points um, as long as I get the, the victory but for me it's, it's about going the distance and being able to understand that I can go the distance and I can still get the win as well because yeah. you, 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 you can land a lucky punch and get a knockout but yeah. that doesn't really mean that you're a skilled fighter or, or anything like that so I want to I wanna test the other part of it because I know I have, I've got knockout power but it's like have I got the other things that make you a great fighter facts, facts, facts. Um, 23rd of March man we're on sold out um any message for your opponent? Um, be prepared. Uh, I guess that's what my last opponent said to me, and he wasn't prepared. So be prepared. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to put in the work in, so I would expect the same from you, and then we can have a battle. Yeah. So meet in the middle of the ring is what he's saying. Get in there and just scrap. 
Yeah, man. Um, Boxing Corner Casuals and Combat Kings. Um, we'll see you on the 23rd of March. We'll be there. Um, and good luck, man. Thank you very much.